The comedy horror film Gremlins is without question a cult classic. Even 40 years later, this one is still entertaining, even though it's not suitable for young kids at all. Considering how violent this movie was for PG, this had received heavy criticism from people saying it wasn't suitable for children. So Steven Spielberg had suggested to MPAA to alter their ratings board. And two months after the release of this movie, the PG-13 rating was created. So the story of this one is that a struggling inventor named Randall, he heads into Chinatown looking for a Christmas present for his son Billy. He comes across an antique shop where the owner, Mr. Wing, refuses to sell the creature to Randall. But secretly, his grandson sells the mod wide to him, telling him three important rules that must not be broken. Keep him out of the light. He hates bright light, especially sunlight. It'll kill him. And keep him away from water. Don't get him wet. But the most important rule, the rule you can never forget, no matter how much he cries, no matter how much he begs, never, never feed him after midnight. You got it? Sure, kid, whatever you say. Hey, listen, thanks, and have a Merry Christmas. But because Billy wasn't careful with the rules, then his whole town falls under chaos on Christmas Eve. You know, this one is quite enjoyable. Definitely has that horror feel to it. And I thought about reviewing this during Christmas time, but I was like, no, this is a horror comedy that actually gets a lot of things right. It's not perfect, but it's not a dumpster fire either. Despite this being one of the darkest comedies of the 1980s, there is a special charm about this one. The characters, the story, the music, it all comes together to make this quite a enjoyable cinematic experience. Overall, when it comes down to it, a film that quite frankly is not suitable for kids or even entire families. But its legacy does speak for itself and it is still talked about even four decades later. This movie does have some interesting characters. Billy is this young teenager and while he knows the rules, they unfortunately get broken, which leads to the whole town being in chaos. Now the acting from Zach Galligan actually was good. His chemistry with Phoebe Cates, it was excellent. It's not the best chemistry that the two have. And I do know that both of them are in the sequel, but I heard there are missed opinions on that movie just because it's cartoony and it's just a parody of this one. Now, as far as Lynn is concerned, I thought she was badass as well. Every time when I see that scene when she takes out the three grim ones, I'm like, oh, go Lynn, because she showed no fear there. She probably was scared, to be honest, but she took them down. I gotta say, that's impressive. Unfortunately, the character Stripe, he ends up getting away more than once. He ends up building his own army, and actually leads into some interesting moments, like when they're at the bar. That shows that these villains have character. Sure, they're going around murdering innocents. It's quite unfortunate, but I did like how they had their own personalities. Now, speaking of Greenlands, Gizmo, absolutely adorable character. He is so nice. Even though he gets bullied by the other Gremlins, I like how just gentle he is. Even though at the end, Mr. Wing takes some back because he says, Billy himself, you are not ready. But it is a bittersweet moment. Even though it's not emotional, it's like it's goodbye to that family. And as far as the music is concerned, the late Jerry Goldsmith definitely did such a remarkable job with it. He's known for some notable music throughout the decades. And in here, it's both cheerful and there's a little bit of horror etched into it as well. Especially when the gremlins are first seen in their reptile form. I'm like, man, this is some good animatronics, puppets. And I did hear there is a third film in development. It hasn't been anything as of recently as the last update was in 2020. But I think it would be cool to see an update Gremlins film just because they still would have the animatronics and the puppets and they wouldn't even use CGI because practical effects, that's what I always really respect about old movies because 
It will always look real compared to today's CGI. At the end of the day, this is one of the best movies from the 1980s. And even though not everything about it is perfect, it is still quite enjoyable even four decades later. I don't give this film an 8 out of 10. I don't really have any complaints about this film. Maybe one that is, how exactly Mr. Wing found the family at the end of the movie? I realize it's not that important, but it kind of always bothered me considering he so easily found Gizmo. Anyway, this is a great film in my opinion. Definitely a cult classic. And this is well liked by a lot of people out there as well. And that's my review of... Gremlins. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. Alright, this is Slim Guy 172 saying peace out.